Now to the latest on the 13-year-old boy who died. Police say after getting stabbed by a 14-year-old on an MTA bus. That's right. It happened in the middle of the afternoon on Staten Island. And as Richard Giacoba shows us, authorities are looking into whether gang violence is to blame. Blood-soaked clothes and a water bottle lay next to the S-78 bus tonight on Staten Island. A chilling reminder of what unfolded on board hours earlier. Total mayhem. Total mayhem. Police say this was all gang-related just before 2.30 this afternoon along Highland Boulevard in the Eltingville section when a confrontation began between a 13-year-old boy and a 14-year-old boy. According to police, witnesses saw the 14-year-old pull out a knife and flash gang signs to each other. Then the 14-year-old attacks. We have a male stabbed in the chest. Our perpetrator flees this bus, runs approximately three blocks. Cops say the victim made it to the front of the bus before collapsing. A retired NYPD sergeant leaps into action and follows the suspect after a witness claims, quote, this person just stabbed somebody. I saw the kid come off the bus that... The injured party come off the bus. He was taken right away. They huddled around him, took him, took him right away. And uh, then I watched all the cops shut everything down. Excuse me, on Highland Boulevard and Littlefield, they had it all shut down. The sergeant catches up to him and makes an arrest. Witnesses say they saw the suspect throw the knife down a nearby sewer drain. Uh, the chief had them starting to do a, a grid search for the weapon. The 13-year-old was rushed to Staten Island University Hospital but could not be saved. A tragic day for the victim and his family and for the people on board who just wanted to make it home for the weekend. Police say that 14-year-old is being held in question tonight, but that others may be involved. The MTA, meanwhile, says that there are cameras on that bus and that they, quote, have a good account of just what happened on board. We're in the Eltingville section of Staten Island. Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News.